Hey, hi everybody. This is Marco Panicchi. Welcome to our course. Uh, I hope you will like it. So, are you ready? Let's start. Let's start from the warm-up. But what exactly means warm-up? Warm-up is that particular terms that um, indicate that body activity that permit us to get ready to compete. We will start now this little routine of warm-up. It's called dynamic routine warm-up because uh, we need to get ready, as I told you. So the guys, they will start right away to show you some exercise. Please. Good. Let me see the difference between those two skips. Brava. Leave the legs, I'll be back. Good. Change. Excellent. Arms. Arms. Good. Bravo. Okay, for the hips. Good. Bravo. Good, Peter. Keep your shoulder looking there. Just move your hips. That's great. Now the one with crossing. Turn your shoulder. Very good. Okay, good. Let's start in a little bit with the upper body. Warm up there, okay? Please. Ready? Go. Brava. Good position of the shoulder. I like it. Excellent. Engage your core. Don't cut here. Stay straight. Good. Okay. One upper there. Not too much up here. There. Squeeze your back there. Good. Excellent. Okay. The other one. Up and down. Yes. There. There. Bravo. A little bit more dynamic. You can do it. That's great. Good. Good. Perfect. Excellent. Peter. Come on. Make a, make a good range of movement. Okay. There. And stable. Ah! Again. Again. Come on. One. Two. No, no big jump. There. Bravissimo. Body weight there. Okay? Dai, come on. One. One. Two. Bravo. Change. Other side. There. There. Good. Excellent. Much better this side. Ali. There. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. Let's add a little bit more feet exercise. Okay? We go slowly, slowly, a little bit more increasing the intensity. We start with the lateral one, okay? This one. When I say switch, you change the leg. Okay? Go. Switch. Switch. Good. Perfect. Switch. Switch. Let's do lateral double impulse, okay? Only one side. Excellent. Change. Turn. Keep going there. Excellent. Only one sound on the ground. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Excellent. Stop it. Again there, we make double step shuffling, okay? Good. Perfect. Don't go too much up. Try to go a little bit more lateral. That's perfect. I like it. Good feet. Bouncing with the feet. Excellent. Let's try to use a little bit the body. No? Okay, the upper body with the medicine ball. Stay there, please, Peter. Let's do it there. You start close stance, open stance, and side kick. Okay? By yourself. Very good. Easy. We are still warming up. So, good movement. Create stability on the ground. Perfect. Open stance. Good. Come on. Good rotation and full range of movement. That's okay. Full range of movement. Good. Say kick, please. Now, a little bit. Come on. There. Ali. Good. Ali. Yes. One more. Ali. And that's perfect. Let's work the core. The core is the most important thing for us, body part, more, more important. Everything starts from there. Tennis is a rotational sport. If you are strong here, we can smack the ball. We start with the plank. First, let me just tell you from the safety point of view how, how it should be done, okay? 
This is the plank. I don't want that you go too much down here because too much load in your lower back. So go a little bit more here, squeeze your glutes and engage your core, okay? Let's start with one minute like this. Then if you feel comfortable, slowly, slowly, you can add a little bit more times, okay? Go guys, good. She will show you a little bit more easy way to do it, okay? You can start like this. Knee on the ground, engage your core, squeeze your glutes. Perfect, man. Don't collapse here, okay? A little bit more higher here. There, great. Okay, stay there. Good. Okay, stop. Excellent. Let's show now the lateral plank, please. There. Again, easy version with the knee on the feet. Okay? Don't turn your hips. Same line on the shoulders, same line on your hips. Push your hips a little bit forward. There. And keep it like this. Change, other side, show. On the knee, brava. One line from the knee to the shoulder, I like it. Reverse plank, okay? So we work the back chain now. Two different ways again. Show. That's Peter. Perfect. Okay. Keep pushing here. Straight. I like it. Okay. This way, it's a little bit easier. Again, guys, one minute. We start easy as you feel. Slowly, slowly. We can always increase. Start slowly. I like it. Good. We will put this one here. So the goal is uh, to be really stable with the hips. The ball doesn't have to drop, okay? Two step there, two step in the other side. Bravo. Check here, don't move your hips. Keep the line of the hips. Bravo, one more time to me. Here, there, there, excellent, bravo. Good, good job. Hips, there, which create a little bit more instability, imbalance, so you have to fight a little bit more with the hips. Okay, stretch, bravo. Slow down, just check, excellent. I like it. Don't lift too much here, okay? Just kick forward, brava. I don't want to see your hips making this movement. Uh, you have to hold strong with the glutes in order to don't move your hips. Excellent. She will stabilize, she will be very, very strong here. This one is pulling her, okay? She has to contrast the rota this uh, rotation. So she will stretch the arms. She will hold strong with the lateral muscle. So there. Slow down a little bit when you stretch. Bravissima. Okay, I pull you a little bit more, okay? There. Excellent. Come on, fight, eh? Slow and keep it there. Two seconds. Good. Brava. Again. There. I like it. You're not moving anything, that's what we need. So you are working correctly. Bravo. Good. Okay. Very good. Very good. It's not only core, we are always in control, guys, okay? So plank on top there. Show that one. Stay in the position. I will throw you this ball here. You have to be able to move it and to let the ball go there in the middle, okay? This one, of course, is unstable, okay? Move it a little bit. Allez. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Go. Stable there. Once you're there, keep it there. Keep it there. So good. Excellent. Now we make some rotation. Yeah, faster. You can do it. Yeah, good. Good. Touch and rotation. Touch and rotation. Okay, you are too good. Instead to start here, start a little bit low now. It's tougher. You have to be faster, okay? Bam, bam. Faster. Don't throw it. Leave it. Brava. Okay, plank position. He's a good athlete. Of course, this one is pretty high. You can start with really low steps, okay? But anyway, the guy is very, really strong. Show, please. There. Be solid here, strong, with all the core engaged. Perfect, bravo, that was much better. Again, 
Up there, excellent. Give me two more. Yeah. Good, perfect, basta. Okay, guys, I challenge you. Try to do everything. You will be a great player. I'm using these uh, routines with my player in order to make them uh, uh, more flexible and more uh, ready uh, on court and to prevent also injury, okay? It's really important. There are so many things to do, but these are the ones that I selected for you guys. We will start with the flexibility of the back, upper side of the back. So guys, please, let's start with the first one. And go, please. Exactly. Touch with the shoulder and make rotation. Okay, let's try to do it also a little bit more dynamic way. So let's help the movement. The, yes, can help your rotation. Perfect. Okay, Peter, this, the rotation has to be done exactly on the line. Okay, don't go side to side when you do this. Perfect. Good. There. Excellent. Good rotation. There. Touch, good, perfect. Let's go on the side now, guys. 90-90, we open. Okay, it's really important that we are correct with the legs. So you see the guys are in different ways, okay? So how Steph is doing is a little bit tougher because lock a little bit more your hips. So it will be more emphasis on the back rotation. In this way, actually, I want that you start the easy way. If you feel comfortable, then you can go in the position, Steffi position, okay? Okay, let's go, guys. The movement has to be smooth, okay? You don't need to force. Just reach the point that you feel comfortable. Okay, bravi. Change side. We repeat this exercise on the other side. Very smooth, smoothly, okay? Vale. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I like it, I like it, okay. Let's try to do the one now with open legs there. Do you remember? Okay, knee there, exactly, good. Okay, perfect. Press your feet on the ground, guys. This is really important, yeah, exactly. Don't move side. Okay, change your arms, stay in this position. No, 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 stay in this position with the legs. And now, other arms. Make the total rotation there. Okay, good. Okay, guys, you can do it. You can do it a little bit more dynamic, okay? Help yourself with the rotation. There, very good. Without forcing, but a smooth way, okay? Feel comfortable when you do it. Don't force. Bravi. Change the leg. We start again. Excellent. Okay, guys, with this we can improve our, you know, mobility. It's important. It's a, tennis is a rotational sport. We need to be ready. Excellent. Sit on the ground, 90-90 like this, we go under the arm. Okay, bravi, start in position. Check your legs, 90-90. When I say 90-90, guys, means this angle have to be 90, the knee possibly down and this one here, okay? We put the arms a little bit more far from our body. Okay, show guys. We go inside, more we can, rotation, then we go up and stretching forward. Press your chest on your knee, that's great. Up, again, inside with the rotation. Where you arrive, guys, don't force too much. Good. That's it, up and inside. Good, change side. Again, guys, don't force, okay? Feel comfortable to do it. I mean, we need to improve step by step. Again, let's go, 90-90, press your hips down, your knee on the ground, that's it. Good, up, and there, follow the line of your knee. Good. Guys, this is the warm-up routine for hips, okay? So I will show you. That's normally what I do with my player, okay? Again, so you, we can use a simple stick one, or in this case, we're going to use the ropes because we are, we ha I have excellent player here with me, so I, I make it a little bit tougher for them, okay? First exercise. 
we go on the knee, we open a little bit more, Steffi. There, okay? So now frontal, bravo, go up, inside, and lateral, there, bravo. Again, don't change your legs, same, always with the same leg now. Now you turn, make it always with the same leg. Right, left, right, left, good. Okay, do it again, a little bit more without stopping the motion, okay? More fluid, okay, there, 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 okay, good. Lateral, Steffi, try. Let's make it a bit higher for her, there, good. Good, there, brava, excellent, good, there, bravissima, perfect. We start in this position from internal, hardless position, and then we go outside, okay? So it's a great work for the hips. Steffi, no hands there, just uh, stay. Engage your core, guys. I want to be re you very stable here. Don't drop down with the, with, the, with the shoulder, okay? Let's go, come on. Bravi, excellent. Perfect. Steffi, stay engaged here, straight, bravissima. Otherwise, it's too simple for you. There. There. Where did you feel the exercise? Where is the part of your body that you feel? Hips, mostly. Hips, okay. And glutes also. And glutes also. Excellent. And That's core. the target. And core. Okay, let's change. We do the other one, 90-90. We go with both hands forward, the, our knee, and we try to make uh, internal rotation on the hips, okay? So let's do it uh, 10 times each leg. Please keep pressing the knee on the ground, okay? Straight back. Straight back, stretch your, your arms, there, perfect, okay? Let's go, come on, 10 times. Keep pressing the, the glutes, the, 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 the knee on the ground. Be stable here, feel it, all the movement inside your hips. There, good. Very good, and change. Good, perfect. Keep pressing the knee on the ground. When you do this, straight here, good, perfect. Come on, Peter, come on, Peter, she reached much higher than you. Try, try. Good, bravo, guys, perfect. Okay, let's do the last one for the hips, for this routine. Because Steffi, so perfect. We make a little bit higher, okay, guys? You, you can decide by yourself how much high have to be the target here, okay? So we open a little bit the, the legs is not, that is not working. In this case, anyway, we switch the legs. We need to be completely straight, core engaged. We need to feel our glutes heavy on the ground, okay? Straight legs. Let's go. Yeah. Try, don't touch the ground, don't touch the ground. Just bravis, like this. Don't touch the ground. Yes. Good. Don't touch the ground. Excellent, very good. Bravi, change. It's important that you are correct as a posture. Posture, that's it. Very good. Keep taking this very, 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 very... Yeah, straight legs there. Oh, so good, guys, awesome. Bravi. Okay, guys, now we start the shoulder routine. They will show us a few exercises that will permit us to be with healthy shoulder, okay? Guys, let's start. Okay, starting position. We put there, excellent, okay, ready, go. We go over there without leaving and lifting the forehead there, bravi, up. They're using all your shoulder, guys. Straight arms. Good. Going back now. Up. There. Very good. Excellent. So we can make it a little bit tougher for them because they are doing very well, okay? So for example, let's say, Peter, for you, we make higher. There in this case, the mark, and see if he's able to do it, okay? Okay, guys, again, try, go. Only the shoulder, that's it. 
Good. Bravo, grande Peter. Excellent. They're inside. Bene, good. Repeat it, please. Repeat it. Yeah, very good. Ali. Come on. Two more times, eh? Up, 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 don't touch. Excellent. Bravissimo. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Last one. Up. It looks very good, guys. Perfect. Great job. Okay, perfect. This is really tough, okay? So start slowly, please, as a repetition, as a number of sets. Okay, so I will explain you how it has to be done in order to be in a safety range, okay? So let's see a little bit uh, our girl here. So she will do it without any uh, weights, okay? So starting position, it will be this one. I won't, don't lift too much your elbow. Stay a little bit more down with your elbow. Don't stress too much your rotatory cuff. Squeeze your scapula here, okay? Your blade here, squeeze it. And now start the exercise, the starting position, okay? And stretch, go back, and internal rotation, very good. Always holding, squeeze here, okay? Stretch, and back. Please, Peter, start again, start also you, please. Go there, stretching. Excellent. Always lifting the hands. Don't go down when you stretch the, the, your, your hand, your arm, sorry. There, 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 there. Excellent. Keep stretching here. Good. Excellent. Very good. There. Bravo. Internal rotation. Excellent. Now you're working here with your back. Very good. Back shoulder are perfect now. Correct way. There. Again. Last one. Stretch it, and hold it, and back, internal, we are done. Internal rotation, there, relax. Very good, guys. Go, perfect. Stretch now, hold it, always squeezing here your blade, eh? okay? There, perfect, internal rotation, done. Good job, perfect. Okay, guys, we are done, this is the routine. I hope this can help your game. So. And you see, you, we can do it wherever you want. So no excuses, guys. Do it. Okay, guys. Let's see how to work stability now in the gym. Okay, we will use the bozu. It's something that creates instability. So Peter is going to jump there with only one foot and try to jump and keep the balance. Engage your core, engage your glutes. Guys, safety first. If you are in trouble, put the other feet on the ground, okay? Go, Peter, show, show us. Excellent. There. Very good. I like it. Good save, good save. Change, perfect. I like how you're working with the feet. Okay, try to stabilize everything, take the vertical, and use your feet to balance. Very good. Excellent fight. Good. Perfect, okay. Now, Steffi, please show us also. Ali, Steffi. Or you can also say with the arms can help you a little bit to balance better, you know? Oh, so good. Excellent. Very good. Change your foot. Excellent. Again. Bravo. Excellent. Very solid. Excellent. Put your feet there. So good, perfect. Second exercise, so we will stay now on the ground, always with one foot, okay? So guys, please go ahead and show them. Ah, one second, this is really important, guys. I want to tell you that uh, safety first, as usual. So I want one day bent, the knee doesn't have to go inside or outside, okay? So the knee had to follow the second finger when he bent it, okay? Let's try. Let's go. Very good. Excellent. 
and stretch. Good. Good. There. There. Excellent. Good. And back. Stabilize with the feet. There. Excellent. Again. One more time. There. Good. There. Perfect. Good. So you can have a little bit more difficult in this exercise. Putting under the foot something a little bit more not stable. So we have uh, this little pad. Steffi, perfect. Okay, guys. It will be a little bit more tough, okay? But we'll try to fight again. Ali, let's go. Show me. There. Check your knee. Check the line of your knee. Excellent. Go to touch. There. Now. Stretch back there, your legs. Very good. They keep fighting with the feet. Again, one more time. There. Lateral. And go, 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 go. Excellent, guys. Solid. Perfect. Okay, guys. You see how it's important to try to find out always the balance in order to don't lose the vertical because this can help us a lot on court. Okay? So this big guy that play tennis, you don't see never, ever that they lose the balance there. So we'll talk uh, about uh, to optimize everything on court. The contact point, the possibility to transform power exactly on the shot. Okay? Good. Okay, let's try to do something a little more dynamic management of the stability, okay? So we will start on the ground, same, only one foot. Excellent. Bend a little bit more if you can. That's great. Bravissima. Change. Peter. Peter changed a little bit the exercise, so we will do it a little bit more uh, complex. Very good. There. Excellent. Good. The guy learned so quickly, so we, put, we can go to the next step. A little bit more difficult again, okay? With the bozu. Ali Steffi, show us. Ready? Very good. Okay. Comes from the legs. I remember this. There. Up, stabilize there. Very good. Bravo. Change. Excellent. Bravissimo. Oh, bravissimo. Okay, good. Go down with the stick. There, stable. And bang it. Excellent. Bravo, guys. Good job. One more dynamic exercise, okay? So we will start uh, with the uh, only flat floor. So Steffi will start. Please, Steffi, show us. And stabilize. There, very good. Again. Jump and freeze. Very good. Again, give me one more. Excellent. Okay, change. Peter, show us too. Ali. It's really important here you really freeze one second there. Bravissimo. Uh, don't lose the balance. Come on, again. Ali. Bravo. Come on, one more time. Double step and jump. Good. Okay. We can add a little bit more difficult, of course, using the bozu. So, Steffi. Start again. Ali. Good. Very good. Brava. Excellent. Brava. Try to jump the next one a little bit more for, from far. Yeah. Oh, repeat me. Give me one more. Come on. Go. Oh, that's okay. Good. Peter. Excellent. Bravo. Come on. Oh, good control. Excellent. One more. Bravo. Steffi, change please the landing foot now. Cross your feet. Ali. Hey, stable there. Freeze one second. I want to I see you there completely fighting that the unbalance. 
That's I like it. Come on, one more. Uh, okay. Change. Good. Ale, jump a little bit more from far. There. Bravo. Fight, fight. Oh, good. Good. Excellent. Okay. They did a good job. So as you've seen, we can do this exercise very in simple way. I mean, with a bozo, without bozo. So we just need really little room. We can do all this exercise. Talk about speed in tennis. It's a little bit too generic. I like to talk about acceleration and deceleration. We need to be able to accelerate, but we need to be very much more able to stop in order to hit the ball in the right way. Probably Usain Bolt will reach a short drop shot better than this big guy playing tennis. But the problem for him is to stop there. Maybe he needs that much time, that much room to stop. So we cannot permit this as a tennis player. So let's see some exercise uh, that can um, give us this more emphasis in the eccentric phase, which is the negative phase of the muscular contraction. Okay, guys, let's start. Start with the front one. Bravi. Like if you want to drop down and stop. Good. Check your back, Steffi. Good. Very solid when you are there. Block it. Don't move. Good. Engage your core. Okay, change your legs. Again. There. Solid. Don't move. After that, you stop. I don't want to see you move. Brava. Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. Guys, stop. Rest a little bit. We do lateral. Remember, looks like you are falling. And you stop, you break, stretch the legs, okay? Show me. Bravi. Let me hear noise on the ground. That's the power. Good. Ah, Steffi, stop and don't move after. That's good. Peter, excellent. Change your legs, guys. Steffi, there is a still slightly movement after that you stop. You stop and you move. Show me. Brava, that's, that's the moment. Hold strong there. Brava, much better now. Good. Perfect. Stop, guys. Okay. Okay. You understand. Okay, put down the, the ball, please. Now, let's make uh, from the step some drop jump, okay? But the concept is always the same. We drop down. We stop completely, okay? Don't stop and move. Stop. Go. Show me. Good. Bravi. That's I like it. Okay. More power when you stop, guys. I just want to see, see you really solid like a rock. Excellent. Bravi. Two more like this. It's perfect. Excellent. Stop. Good job, guys. We train with those exercises, the eccentric phase. Now we try to transform in the specific movement on court. Okay, so the goal will be maximum acceleration and maximum stop here. Okay, so acceleration, deceleration in this little space. Okay, Steffi, we start. The idea is to enter in this uh, small place with the maximum speed. Okay, so it's maximum acceleration, maximum deceleration. Try again. Ali. Bravissima, much better. Excellent. Bravo, Stevie. Excellent. 
Excellent. Okay, excellent. Let's make uh, attention in one uh, very crucial moment, point of the tennis. I mean, this uh, separation of the line of the shoulder and line of the hips. This permits us to rotate. Okay, the guys, you will show it, and then I will explain what, which one is the goal and how we can fix some things. This is a normal movement on court. Did you know how many times they have to move the shoulder, not the hips, or move the hips, not the shoulder? So this ability to turn in different ways our body is the one that permits us to cover the court to have more effective shots. So for example, look at me, guys. Did you know when they arrive here, they have to turn the shoulder, compare the hips, they make the shot. When they have to recover the crossover step, they have to move the hips, compare the shoulder. Okay, so specifically, what Steffi was doing, she was not turning too much here, the shoulder. It was a little bit fake rotation. She moved only here. She didn't charge the shoulder in order to have the shots after. She just made this one. She arrived here, she made the shot, she had pretty good rotation here. Peter, actually, was a little bit better here. He made may, the shot, he's lefty. He made the shot, I, very good rotation, but the crossover was this one. So he was not able to move a little bit. What does it mean this? You recover with one step, much more less than this, okay? So let's try to do some exercise to emphasize a little bit this uh, movement, shoulder compared to hips and hips compared to shoulder. First exercise, I'm gonna ask the guy to move the hips and don't move the shoulder line, okay? So it will be just hips turning, holding the shoulder, okay? Let's, let's go. Bravo. Good. Perfect. Go back. Excellent. Don't move your shoulder. Bravissima. You see? She's just turning the hips, holding there. So she's uh, separate this angle compared to the shoulder. Okay? Peter, go. Bravo. Good. Dance, baby. I like it. Oh, much better, man. I like it. Perfect. Now we will move the line of the shoulder keep stable the line on the hips. So opposite than before, okay? Steffi, please. Excellent, very good. Went back, shoulder, and keep your hips always looking there. Excellent. Peter will show us a little bit more specific way with the rackets. Go. Just feel the rotation of the shoulder. Excellent. Good. There. Let's bring those exercises again in more specific movement for tennis. So we take the rackets and again, we move first shoulder compared to the hips and then hips compared to the shoulder. Okay? So they will show you. Yep. Bravo. Good. There. Turn your hips. Bravissima. Look how much space you are gaining there. Okay, Peter, stop one second. Very good the line on the shoulder, but I don't like the crossover. The crossover actually is a little bit only this. I want that you move your hips angle. So your hips have to look forward, and when you make the crossover, they have to turn a little bit, okay? Not that much, but a little bit like this. You recover 20 centimeters, very short step. We need to recover a little bit fast. That's why we need to dissociate the angle. 
So from here, make a little bit more step. Turn a little bit more your hips. There. Good. Much better. Oh, that's crossover step. Excellent. Yep. Brava. Help with the, with the non-dominant arms. Perfect. Open stance. There. There. Good rotation of the shoulder. There. Excellent. Stay very good. There. Good. Excellent. Bravo. Much better this one, huh? Good. Bravo. Okay, guys, let's see now how the body has to work properly for tennis. So, so how the kinetic chain are involved in the better shots. Very good. There, brava. Good rotation, finish with perfect rotation there. Okay, feel the hips pushing. Excellent. Change the exercise now to, to arms. Yeah, when you, when you have the rotation, look forward. There. And body weight there. Okay, far from your body. Now far from your body. Excellent. Rotation. One more. Good. Very good. Okay, let's change. Peter. Okay, again. Excellent. Feel the pushing from the legs that go straight to your hands. There. Ali, dynamically and go. Excellent. Okay, two hands. Perfect. Ali. Up. There. Down. Up, perfect, there, go, excellent, very good. Now we put a little bit more emphasis in your legs and your hips, okay? So I want that you make a perfect pushing from the ground, hips, shoulder, final shot, okay? Show me, like, excellent. Bang it, bravissima. Hop, hips, yeah, brava, legs, hips, shoulder, brava, that's the turn, legs, hips, shoulder, good. Did you feel the... The power started from the ground, arrived to the contact point. Yes, I felt that it's coming from the hips mostly. Very good. Good, perfect. Peter, let's do in the, for you, it's foreign side, you are lefty. Okay. I mean, always two hands. Exactly. Start. There. Better rotation on the shoulder and hips. There. Excellent. Come on, keep pushing with your left there. Legs. Bring it inside the hips. Come on, bang it. Good. One more. Good. Okay, I like it. We make our player feel how the chain is working. Okay, now we go a little bit more in the specific. We will throw some medicine ball as a hack team as we are playing tennis in three different ways. Okay, we will have a semi open stance, close stance, and a little bit more plyometric way. So now Peter is gonna show us. Bravo. Keep pushing with your hips forward. There, very good. Good. Excellent. Okay, close stance, close stance. Same things. Feel the chain. There. Inside the hips. Inside the hips. There. Bravissimo. Okay, bravo, Peter. As I do the one now with the split step, a little bit more dynamic. Bravo. Bravo. Correct use of the legs. I like this. And hips. Good. Shoulder there. Perfect. Steffi. Okay, again, think what you have to do. Think about all the chain involved, okay? More. Yes. Good. Brava. Okay, good, good, good. Change. Feel your glutes, eh? for you is really important. Finish the push there. And hips forward. Brava. There. Shoulder and hips looking there. There. Good. Bravissimo. Bravissimo. Yep. Feel, finish the pushing. Turn your hips. Oh, that was perfect. Give me one more. Good. Okay, guys. This was the last exercise of uh, this course. I hope you enjoyed and this can help you to improve your game. And uh, it was a big pleasure to, for me to share this information with you guys. Good luck.